little game of spot the difference. What's one of the main differences you see between elderly in the 1960s versus elderly today? Not a soul here is using a cane, a walker, a wheelchair. They're even carrying their own purses and jackets. So what has happened from here to here to make aging so much faster? In the 1950s, packaged food started becoming a thing. And in the 1960s, heart disease started to become a really big problem. So in the 1970s, the U.S. government tried to do something about it. Calorie counted started becoming a thing, and we were recommended to go easy on the eggs and butter. And let's not forget that in the 1980s, we were recommended to have six small meals a day. Never go hungry, they'd say. That will ruin your metabolism. In 1992, they doubled down and encouraged us to have six to 11 servings a day of bread cereal, rice, or pasta. Fruits and vegetables were next, then meat and dairy, then at the top are fats, oils, and sweets, used sparingly. They started coming out with fat-free everything. They were removing the fat, but that made the products taste terrible. To make up for that, they would add sugar. And because at the time, saturated fat was the villain, which P.S. Saturated fat is found in nature in olives, in avocados, in coconuts. They started creating their own fats from seeds and called it vegetable oil, not made from vegetables. And to get fats out of seeds is incredibly difficult. It requires crazy processing. But I believe the real problem stems from way back in the 1950s when we started consuming packaged goods. When food is processed, they take out and remove the fiber to make it taste better and to extend the shelf life. And unfortunately, more than half of the calories that Americans consume every day are from processed foods. On any given day, nearly 40% of Americans are going through a drive through and consuming fast food. Most of these foods are low on fiber or completely fiber free. The other thing that has destroyed our health is that we are constantly eating all day. We're not giving our body the break that it needs. Instead, we're scared to be hungry. If we wanna rewind time and go from this to this, we've gotta eliminate snacking, eating two to three meals a day and getting more fiber in our diets. Imagine how different the world would look if we taught the importance of intermittent fasting. And if at every fast food restaurant with your meal came some fiber supplement, we'd be in a much better place.